What's up guys? Here we go again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another toy hunt. And um agenda for tonight is uh Norman. We're going to Norman, Oklahoma. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to Norman, Oklahoma. There, that's better. And uh, I got softball tonight. Uh, unfortunately, one team forfeit. Now, guys, if you're going to play sports, don't forfeit. That's just such a bitch move. They, the, the team that's forfeiting got their butts kicked like eight straight times, and they just forfeit. So that, ah, uh, jeez. Anyway, we only are playing one game tonight, so that kind of sucks. But before we get to softball, we are going to be checking out Target of Walmart down there and uh, seeing if we can find Snarl. I can't find Snarl anywhere. He's sold out everywhere except for Entertainment Earth, but they charge nearly $20 for shipping and handling. Uh -uh! I ain't doing that. That's my LA Knight impression. <laughs> so... Let's do it. Let's uh, let's go on a nice little toy hunt for softball. See if we can't find Snarl. I'll show you what else they got, of course. Then I got a couple of um, Amazon pickups I'll show you guys at the end. And hopefully I'll show you a Snarl, too. So let's do it. See you guys at the first store. All right, guys. Here we go again. This week's toy hunt is going to be pretty much the same as last week's. Uh, in the normal loop here. Right before softball, we'll see what we can run into. If anything's changed here, it'll be... Target and Walmart again. So we're starting things off at Target. Let's see. So we do get some sales. Real Rumble, 1539. Elites are 18.69. I've never seen that rock before. That's a cool looking rock. I like that one. There's another rock. Dwayne the Rock. There he is. Gracing us with his rocky presence. Also got the NWO Hollywood Hogan. There he is. Uh, not as good on the Star Wars this week as we saw last week. A lot of this stuff's picked over. Still got the Han. That's about it. Still got the AT-AT. -AT. There's the um, Cobb Vanth, Cad Bane. Not going to go for that. Still have Skeletor. Lucan. This is showing up for $22.49, so we'll probably scan that when I'm done here. See if it is on clearance. If it is, I'll grab it. But I'm going to bet it's not. I think it's a little early for that. It's got tons of turtles. Which I really need to start shopping for because my son's birthday is coming up and that's all he's asked for. <laughs> so he's he's got the turtle power going. There's Donnie, Leatherhead, Michelangelo. These things are still really cool. Um, I remember how, trying to get a hold of these when I was a kid. And man, they were so hard to find. So it's nice to see they've got them in good supply. And then we got a ton of Jurassic Park stuff. Uh, look at the size of that Indoraptor. That thing is huge. Same with the Gigantosaurus, that's huge too. But I like what they're doing with the Jurassic Park stuff. It looks good. The JP-30 looks really good too. Um, also got the Turtle, the Ooze Cruising Figures. $54.99 for that. Got the van. It's just Turtle Mania right now, guys. It is everywhere. I'm actually digging it. I still, ah, oh, they do have a raft. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's 15. Well, we'll see. I, I keep not going for those, but I think I I think I might today. And then over here we got some more neck. I actually need to go for this too. This is one I really want to get. This thing's badass, and I keep passing them up. So if we don't find Snarl, probably go for him. Um, and then they got the Crooked Ninja Gain, Rock Rock Soldier, and then um, obviously more turtles. They even got some of the uh, reactions, the super duper overpriced reactions. 20 bucks, got Mikey just hanging out here. Set him back. Let's check out Marvel Legends. Pretty much the same thing as last week. Nothing, yeah, as usual, nothing's moving really. It's sitting until it's on clearance and then it'll go. But tons of stuff still going. Ben Riley, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Rose. Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, Electra Daredevil. Also got some Mario. There's My kids are addicted to that freaking movie. Good movie, but geez. person can only take so much. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find Snarl. All right. As Kyle Peterson would say, hard times, hard times. We've only got Sludge. So we got that two-pack we saw last week. A million of those things hanging out. Um... That's about it. Transforms. Really, Snarl's the only one I'm looking for. 
And then these have hit pretty hard too. I don't see Nightfall, but there's the Two-Face. I don't see the Nightfall Batman. Looks like that one. That'll be the first to go, actually. Let's see. Nope, those are all Batwing. So no go there. Um, a lot of Blue Beetle. Movie bombed. Absolutely horrible. Did nothing. <laughs> That's too bad. But it's not surprising, honestly. Everything's bombing anymore. Still got this Grimlock. This thing is really cool. And it's got a lot of good weight. I showed this last week. Got a lot of good weight to it, too. Really heavy. I didn't show the back of it. I mean, if you're in the Age of Extinction, thing is freaking awesome. But I am not. So we'll put them back. And as you can tell, I mean, I did shorts on this. I did a video on this last week. Nothing's moving, guys. It's the same old story with Hasbro products. I mean, look at the amount of Python Patrol Crimson Guards we got. There's there's about 30 here. 20 to 30. A lot of Dusty still. A lot of Power Rangers still. These, these things are so overpriced. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not that much different, but this is what we're working with, guys. So there you go. Let's head on over to the collector spot. All right, before we head over to the collector spot, there's some cool stuff over here in Lego Land. Look at that Bowser. That Bowser's 270 bucks. That is really cool. I also like the Nintendo Entertainment System. That's really cool too. The shuttle. Some of these things are just huge. There's the DeLorean. They're just massive sets. I mean, that Bowser is nearly 3,000 pieces. That's crazy. I still want the Optimus, but. I don't have time to put that together, so that probably won't happen. Let's take a look at the Star Wars, see what they got. Star Wars-wise, all the helmets are still up. Millennium Falcon, ATT. These little things are kind of cool. Not, not too pricey either. Seen some people getting these. These are 16 a piece, so that's not terrible. I like the Vader. I think the Boba Fett one looks the best. Still 155 pieces. Not a bad little thing. So those are kind of cool. I like those. Um, really, that's about it. A little mermaid thing there, too. All right, collector spot. All right, collector spot. Let's see what we can do here with this. Last time, we saw a ton of stuff here, so I'm going to guess it's probably still the case. Yeah, it looks like it. There's still a lot of DC over here. still a lot of NECA over here. A slash. A lot of Batmans. Even got, for some reason, we even got Star Wars over here. <laughs> Hoss Soldier in an Andor, interesting. Um, Captain Blake. There's a whole mishmash of things up and down here right now. Nothing really of interest to me, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to show you guys. Pops galore. Pops are just out of control here. I mean, they're just stacked a mile high. Also got some stuff on top. She-Hulk. Godzilla. Yoda and so on Angus, Angus Young, and they still got this slash too. Uh, and the bad thing about these is I gave these to my kids. They move their arm and it pops off. <laughs> so uh, I've said it before, I don't recommend those. All right, that's it for Target. See you guys at Walmart. All right, guys, got one of the Wally Mart. Let's see what we can hunt down in here. Alright, I don't think I've even shown you guys the electronics section because there's always been somebody in the way, so let's gonna get this out of the way first. We'll go from there. Popwise, April O'Neil, Denver, Fennec. Eh, yeah. I also got Angela. I have yet to see Angela. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Not at all in no gargoyles, but nice to see that. That's maybe my first or second time seeing that. So I got Victor Crowley, Captain James T. Kirk. It's a little low here. It was a little better last week, I think. Ninja Turtles, those are all Shredder and Splinter. Still looking for them. <laughs> uh, Invisible Man. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this one yet either. Maybe I have. I'm going to say that's the weakest one. It's still not bad, but I still think Mummy Mikey and Raph and, Don and uh, Leah were better. His little jokers got flash, and then we got some pops up there. So yeah, I mean it's better than the one by my house, but still nothing really to ride home about. So let's go find the toys. All right, this is new. I haven't seen this yet, but I just caught my eye. I mean it's here. How could it not? But we got a lot of Marvel Legends under there. Is that man? 
Little Tron, Marvel Boy, Miss Marvel. Got some of the carded. There's Ben Riley Spider Man. Also a couple hanging out up here. Marvel's Tarantula. I haven't seen him yet. We just saw Rose earlier at Target. Spider Man. Those are old. I'm surprised I still got those. What else we got down here? Let's take a look. Uh, we've got Crossfire, Future Ant Man. Ant Man. It's like the whole wave, guys. I mean, it's full of Marvel Boy. There's Karnak. Commander Rogers, yeah, they got a ton of Marvel Legends here. Probably more Marvel Legends than I've seen at Walmart in a long, long, long time. So that's cool to see. So definitely check your Walmarts. Look for the big Disney display. Middle of the aisle. What else we got on this? There's uh, Jessica Drew's Spider Woman. And then we got like Encanto and Barbie stuff. Nothing great, but definitely worth a check out for those. Marvel Legends also kind of hanging on to the turtles a little bit, but those are kind of winding down, unfortunately, as I'm actually enjoying it, so that's a little unfortunate. All right. They're playing with lightsabers, so we got to cover it. <laughs> hey. I am not one to say that I've never played with the lightsabers in the middle of Walmart, so <laughs> no judgment here. Let's just go ahead and start on the other end here. All right, Joe Wise, what do we got, Joe Wise? We've got Shipwreck times two, tons of Lady J's. <sighs> Still got Moss Man, too. Apparently, he smells mossy, whatever the hell that means, but he smells mossy. I don't really smell my action figures, so I'm not sure how... I mean, he must really smell if somebody found that out. Because I don't usually smell my action figures, but there you go. The $40 ridiculous Moss Man. Oh, they're finally getting this in, too. So, if you don't want to get it at Target, this thing's awesome, too. I love this thing. I'm considering another one. Scrap Iron, great figure. He may end up in top pickups of the year. We'll see about that. Uh, Star Wars Wise, Pop Blue. Finally sold that Stormtrooper. Fortuna, uh, Power Rangers, pretty much the same stuff. These don't move. They're, you know, when they're the most expensive, I mean, it's tough. And I totally forgot about AEW. <laughs> now, if I was a WWE superstar and I got those two head sculpts on my figure, I'd be pissed. Look at this stupid thing. Look at that look on his face. That is horrible. I'd be pissed. There's Rousey. Honestly, probably the best wrestler going right now. Digging what Seth Rollins has done. And doing. All right, what else we got? Still got the ATAT. I that is nowhere to scale. Whoever's saying that's to scale, you guys are wrong. It's the shuttles. The sh I measured the shuttles bigger. Uh, so got this thing. I can't believe that's 25 bucks. We're gonna set that down. It might be hard to show you guys Transformers and the Turtles. They're still there. Um, Justice League. Still got these things too, the Batman, the Mr. Freeze, and Jurassic Park, and yeah, all right, <laughs> let's go look at Clarence, maybe they'll be gone by then. All right, Clarence, let's see if anything's changed here, if they've dropped prices on anything yet. Oh, look at this, that's pretty cool. I just don't have patience for a model kit like that. You're gonna need glue for that and everything else, I don't have the patience for that. Still got those retros down there. Learn that. Not a ton going on. They're getting rid of a lot of the Wakanda Forever stuff. Still got those up there. The Commander, or the Imperial Officer, and the One Jack. All 19. Not a bad price, considering they were 28. So really not a bad price. Let's see if they've lowered these mission fleets yet. Also got that. 90 bucks. Yowzers. Nope, still 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so the whole reason we're here is to find Snarl. Let's see if uh, those guys have moved. All right, guys, that's it. I was hoping to get to another couple stores, but short on time. Time with work, kids going back to school, everything else. No Snarl. That's okay, though. Uh, I do have a couple of pickups I want to show you guys. This was over the weekend, a couple of pickups from Amazon and one from GameStop. You guys know I... Don't film a GameStop. 
I don't even like going to GameStop. But for this figure, I will go to GameStop. This is the old Master Darth Maul. This thing looks great. I'm very excited about this one. I think it's going to be a good one. Hoping to uh, maybe do a review on it. I'm not sure. Again, time is limited and only really getting one video out a week, which is tough in itself. But this thing looks really cool. Get a good look at the figure there. And, I mean, the only Darth Maul I don't have is the original. Got the other two. So, I like this one a lot. I think that's going to be a good one. I don't like that. <laughs> but, there we go. $28.99. Take it all day. And then, secondly, got an Amazon pickup. This is Torpedo. Never saw him in the stores. Uh, he came back in stock on Amazon recently, so I picked him up. I still can't get a hold of the eel. But that's okay. If I ever run across them, I'll, I'll pick them up. But this guy also looks really cool, too. Like his harpoon and his machine gun looks really cool. So there's that. And then, finally, got this figure. It was interesting that this was shipped to me by Amazon in the actual uh, like a Hasbro box. So not only is this a hunt video, it's an unboxing video. Look at that. Let's see what's in here. No, I already know because I've already got I got two of these and I gotta tell you I was a little disappointed by this figure unfortunately but it is the Arctic bat now the first one I got his gun is bent to hell like his head pops off easy I'm hoping this one's in a little bit better condition of course he's minty fresh being in that shipper box but uh, I love that art that art's phenomenal that looks so cool and then there you go comes with a lot of gear I uh, one problem that he does have is like the chainsaw and his hand do not fit into the back, uh, the backpack slots very well at all. They fall out. So this was a bit of a messed up for Hasbro. I mean, I still think it's the coolest looking one, but we'll see if this one's any better. I'll mess around with them. Go check out my 60 second review of them. Did that the, uh, yesterday. So go check that out. But yeah, there is the pickups for the week. Got three. No snarl. So hopefully I find Snarl soon. It's kind of bugging me. Again, he's sold out everywhere. I may have to break down with the $20 shipping uh, from Entertainment Earth, but I just, that's harsh. $20 is harsh. So, all right, guys, there you go. There's another video, another one in the books. Hopefully, hopefully I can get some more reviews going here. Again, time's tough, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, Yagging with UConn this week. I need to verify with him. I know he's a super busy guy, but Kyle Peterson it's supposed to be my guest this week. I do need to verify with him and make sure that he can still do it because he's a busy guy. But if so, don't miss that one. Honestly, I think he's the hardest working toy hunter in all of YouTube. Puts out tons and tons of content. So if you haven't checked out Kyle, Kyle Peterson's page, that's a tough thing to say. <laughs> Go check it out and catch him on Yakin' with UConn this Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. That'll do it, guys. You guys have a good one. See you on the next one.